face and palm reading, does that have any merit to it? Give us a little more. I'm not sure. I just I was thinking about going to get one, and I think they read your face to see like your future, like how many children you'll have if you get well, married. Well, here's the thing. As you've been living your life experience, you have created a vibrational reality that some who are in vibrational alignment can catch a glimpse of and in different ways with different ones of them they can interpret what they see or feel or sense and so the processes they use like reading your palm or reading cards they're not getting the information from the palm or from the card they're getting points of focus that cause them to tap into the energy that give them clarity or impressions that then they can express but this is always true some of what they've got going on sometimes is mixed in clearly how you feel is mixed in so if you go in all uptight and insecure your insecurity is going to serve as a sort of veil or fog that's going to make it more difficult for them to present things in a way that you can hear or trust them so again we're back to the same conversation can they read the energy yes they can and some of them are very very good about it is it a value to you it can be but if it smacks of you being insecure so you're looking for someone else and their connection in order to give you information then it's not such a good idea if you go for fun that's different than if you go with need if I go in a high vibration just for like an example to aspire to from the information they give me would that serve me in any way or Esther after Jerry died was walking through Balboa Park with friends and some of them said oh there's a palm reader you should go there and Esther said have you lost your freaking mind <laughs> why would I go to someone else to interpret energy when I've got Abraham and they said just thought you might have fun and Esther thought you guys have lost your minds so they roamed around for a couple of hours and Esther couldn't stop thinking about this lady and so then she told herself, if when we leave, that lady's still there, I will give her $10 and see what she has to say. And when they got over there, the lady wasn't there. And Esther realized that she felt just the smallest element of disappointment. <laughs> and then they turned the corner and there she was. And Esther realized she felt just the smallest element of enthusiasm that she was still there. <laughs> so she took out her $10 and sat down and the woman began to turnover cards now all that day Jerry had been with Esther in other words he's dead but that makes no difference whatsoever and Esther had noticed that Jerry quite often when she could feel him around she could feel him on her skin and she would say oh I've got my Jerry legs on in other words she could feel the presence of Jerry it's something she's very aware of and had been for the months that he had been dearly departed and so she sits down and the woman takes the cards and the woman looked at Esther and then looked at Esther and then tried to look away and looked at Esther and she said have you got a man on your mind <laughs> because you've got a man on the surface of your skin uh. well there was no denying that Esther had never heard anybody say anything like that and that woman didn't know Esther or know about Jerry making his transition but she was reading the energy and Jerry certainly was present and while she had these cards she also had intuitive knowing and what she said was right on about that so Esther thought what else you got <laughs> so she turned over a card Esther doesn't know anything about the tarot cards she'd never even seen a deck before she didn't know what any of it meant while this woman proceeded to tell Esther the most wonderful things and she said and the money oh the money and Esther's thinking well she's got that one right too <laughs> and when Esther walked away she said to the people who were with her well that's probably the kind of reading that she gives everyone and all of them said no no not so much that's pretty much the most good news that I've ever heard anyone get and you seem to get it all and Esther thought well that's about right that's how it should go if I create my own reality 
then wouldn't it be right that someone would read the reality that I'm creating? And so let's say that there are people who could read your cards. Let's say that there are people that could read your palm. Let's say that there are people that could read your relationship with your vortex. Let's say that they can tell you what you've got going on. Let's say that they really can tap in and they really can tell you what's going on. Well, the thing that we want to ask you is, do you really want to replace your own guidance with someone like that? Do you really want to be roaming around Balboa Park looking for somebody who doesn't even stay in the same spot? <laughs> she moves around. One day she's there and one day she's over there and then she's over there. Sometimes she doesn't even come. What if you need to know? Where did you go? But sometimes I feel so disconnected. It's hard to like get a tap, get a feel. Well, like... here's the thing. When you feel disconnected, you don't want a reading. You don't want somebody to say, oh, <laughs> things are not good for you because it's only temporary anyway. Why not use your own guidance system? That's like driving around in your car and the gas gauge says you're out of gas and you just go into deep and utter depression. <laughs> oh, oh, I wish I hadn't looked. Does anyone have a happy face sticker? I shouldn't have looked over there. Now I can never go anywhere again. <laughs> of course it's not like that.